pay-as-you-go calling plans from Microsoft Teams phone now available in the United States and many other countries around the world. I'm actually quite excited about a plan like this because it's very flexible, it's consumption-based, and you only get charged for the minutes that you use for outgoing calls. Incoming calls are still included for no additional cost. Now, we've been listening to our customers that have been telling us, hey, Microsoft, your existing calling plans that have pooled minutes might be a little bit too much for us. We can't use all of those minutes. But with a consumption-based plan like pay-as-you-go, you only get billed for the minutes that you use. Now, I think a plan like this is ideal for anyone, really, an individual that wants to add Teams phone to Teams, a small, medium, or large business. As a matter of fact, if I was a small business, I would definitely get pay-as-you-go with Teams phone because then it would light up features like auto attendant and call queues so that when a customer calls my business, they get a professional greeting and they're routed to the right individual. Additionally, pay-as-you-go plans are flexible because you can mix them with other calling plans that Microsoft has today, or you can mix them with the partner carriers that offer direct routing, Operator Connect, or Teams Phone Mobile. Now in this video, we'll talk about pay-as-you-go in a little bit more detail where you can find all this information, the cost structure, the rate sheet, the per minute rates that you'll be paying, but most importantly, we'll look at some of the caveats around this because it's still fluid and there's some improvements that we're making in the near future. Now, one other thing, we recently talked about a concept called shared calling that we're working on. And the idea behind shared calling is that you have one number for maybe five people or one number for 10 people. You decide how many people share that one number. And that one number can be used for incoming calls and routed to the appropriate person, or it can be used for those five or 10 people making outbound calls. What's really amazing about that is that if you mix this shared calling idea with pay as you go, you're able to really create a cost effective structure for your business so that you don't have to get a number for every single person. You can get one number and share it with five or 10 people. As always, thank you so much for tuning in to Collaboration Simplified. I hope you find this session useful. Looking at all the different Microsoft calling plans available today, we have pay as you go on the left and you have a variety of other plans that are pooled minutes. The 120 minute plan, the domestic plan that has over 3000 minutes in the US and other countries and then international plans. But today we'll be focusing on pay as you go primarily because as of July, it became available in the US and that's a big market for us. So let's look at the pay as you go, zoom in there. Now it says domestic outbound calling and I would actually clarify and say that it's domestic and international outbound calling. So let's say you're someone that is in California, you get this pay as you go plan with Teams phone and you call someone in Chicago or New York, that's a domestic call, it's in the US. And so you're gonna be paying a per minute charge for the US. And we'll get to the, the rate sheet in just a little bit. But if you call from California to Canada or Mexico or Italy or somewhere else in the world, you're gonna be paying an international rate, again, a per minute charge. So domestic and international outbound calls you pay per minute, and then incoming calls are included at no additional cost. Now the way we do this is we break this down into zones. There's a zone one, UK and Canada. So per user per month, you're gonna pay $2 for people in those countries that get pay as you go. And $3 for users based in the US and also $3 for zone two, which is pretty much users in any other country other than these three. So the other 32 countries, because we offer calling plans in 35 countries today, will be paying $3. Now don't get too hung up on these prices. These are baseline prices that you pay uh, regardless of whether you use minutes or not. That's like the baseline fee that you pay. Kind of consider that as an admin fee or something. But the reason I say don't get hung up on it too much is because we have different bundles and packages where the pricing overall just kind of gets discounted and more favorable. But as a general rule, there is a baseline fee for pay as you go, depending on where you're located and then per minute charges. Okay, so let's dig a little bit deeper and I'm gonna type in the Teams admin guide in Bing over here and click on the admin guide and go to 
go to deploy. Now for those of you who haven't seen this guide, I highly recommend it for anything related to Teams, whether it's security or chat or meetings. We're gonna focus on voice here and focus on the PSDN options, calling plans and calling plans for Teams phone. So in this section, you can see that it talks about the different calling plan options, how to buy it, how to fund it and so on. And we're going to scroll down a little bit to the calling plan options domestic, international, and pay as you go. You saw all of those in that slide, which is fine. And we're not gonna necessarily focus on domestic calling plan or international. By the way, I did a video on calling plans that talks about domestic and international, so definitely check that out. And I also recommend you check it out for communication credits because we're gonna be using that for pay as you go. So now in the pay as you go calling plan, it talks about with pay as you go, licensed users can call, call out to numbers and you can call out to numbers domestic and international to 196 countries. So if we go here, you can see what all these countries are, which is pretty much most of the world, right? So you can use pay as you go to call anywhere, which is great. Now going back, to pay as you go. It talks about how unlimited incoming minutes are included and no outgoing minutes are included and all calls going out are charged based on minutes used, either communication credits or post usage billing for the newcomer's experience. Now I have experience using communication credits but not with this newcomer's experience so if anyone's using this newcomer's experience let me know how it is, drop, drop it down in the comment section and what your experience is. I've always been using communication credits. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, it talks about how pay as you go calling plan zone one is US and Puerto Rico, Canada and UK. We know the distinction from the slide is that Canada and the UK are actually zone one, but there's a, they pay a different rate than the US does. So I would actually break this down a little bit more. And I would say this node is actually incorrect. So this is one of the caveats, right? As I was going through our documentation and I've let the team know we should remove this node because zone one licenses aren't currently available in the US and Puerto Rico. And that's not correct. Um, you can actually buy them in US and Puerto Rico and I'll show you where in just a few minutes. Now it goes on to say that zone two is actually for all these different countries, which is fantastic. These are the 32 countries in addition to Canada, UK, and US that I was mentioning that are zone two. So we know all of this. But if you scroll down a little bit, it says, how can you buy these different plans? Well, one way that you can buy them is by just logging into your admin center. So if you already have a Microsoft tenant, you can go to billing and purchase services. I can show you that in a, in a few minutes. Or you can buy them different ways, different places. I'll show you that as well. As far as funding, I don't, again, I don't have experience with newcomers, but the idea behind this is that uh, you're basically uh, able to pay for outgoing minutes used in the previous month, which is great because with communication credits, you're actually paying using a pool of minutes that you've already put up front. And I talk about that in that previous video. And then regarding pricing information, there's some links here. We can click on it and see where it takes us. So it takes us to this Microsoft Teams phone site. And uh, we've already kind of seen this, but if you scroll down, it has these different packages. None of these packages are using pay as you go, by the way. This is just for the phone system license. This is for the phone system license with a calling plan, which is actually a domestic plan using 3000 minutes, because if you go over here to inclusive domestic minutes and click on this number five, it takes you over here and it says domestic calling plan includes 3000 minutes for the US and UK. So this is not a pay as you go plan, which is what we're interested in knowing about. And remember I said that don't get too hung up on prices because depending on if you are a small, medium business or an, an in individual or a large enterprise purchasing through an EA, the prices vary, the packages vary. So here's what I'm gonna show you. If I open up Bing and I type in Microsoft Teams phone, there's a link right here. And when I click it, it's actually a different link than this one that we were looking at because if I scroll down, 
it's showing me these other packages, including pay-as-you-go calling plan. And if I scroll up a little bit, there's a business plan and there's also Teams phone bundles. So again, based on whether you're a business or an individual, the, the plans kind of change. And I would focus on this Teams phone bundle. I think this is a really good deal, by the way, because it says you get this Teams Essential, which it breaks it down below, and you get Teams phone with pay as you go in the US, which is exactly what we're looking for, right? So. If you scroll down, it kind of tells you all the different bullets of what this includes. And it also includes Teams, Word, and Excel, and PowerPoint online, right? So I think for 10 bucks, getting Teams and those uh, Office applications plus this calling plan and the phone system license, that's a tremendous value, right? That's why I was saying don't get too hung up on the prices that I was showing you on that one slide. Now, what if you already have a tenant? You have a Microsoft Teams tenant and can you add pay as you go to it? So first thing you do is you log into your tenant. So here we are in the tenant. So on the left hand side, you can go to purchase services and we'll click on that. And then just to the right of it, you can type in calling plan. And if we scroll down a little bit to collaboration and communication, we can try to look for pay as you go I'm not seeing it here. I can click on a little bit more options. And the best that I can see is this Teams Essential with Teams Phone with Pay As You Go, which is kind of what we saw on that site, on that team site. But this is the full price versus that 33% off, right? So it kind of depends. I'm running a demo tenant here. I don't see everything, but maybe in your tenant, you see pay as you go for the US for that $3 baseline price that you can just add. And if you do, let me know. I'm just not seeing it on my demo tenant. So you'll just have to kind of play along here. Let's say that I did find the pay as you go, that $3 US license here. The next thing that I would need to do is make sure that I had communication credits, right? So even though I've kind of talked about this in the past, I'll just show you guys real quick here. If I do a search for communications, then along the bottom here, I see communication credits. And when I click on details, this is the opportunity for you to purchase it. It's no cost necessarily to get that license, but then you have to fund it. So you get that license, you fund it. And then the idea is that you go to your users and someone like Alex that has this E5 license, it already has a phone system license built into it. So when we click on Alex and we look at his different licenses, you can see that he basically already has a team's domestic calling plan. And then this is where you would also assign him the communication credits. And in lieu of this domestic calling plan, once you had the pay as you go calling plan, you would assign him the pay as you go calling plan. So then Alex gets a number. Anytime he makes a call, he's going to use the communication credits. And that's the idea behind pay as you go. Okay, so finally, let's get to the rate sheet. What are those per minute rates that are you going to be paying domestically or international? For that, you want to ideally go to this team's phone site that we're looking at. And oh, by the way, I found along the top, it says save 33%. So for you to kind of go to that bundle link that I showed, this is a way of getting the, to it from that team's phone page that we were just on. Just FYI, I just found it right now. But ideally on this page, there is going to be the ability for you to download the rate sheet. It's just not available right now. I know our product group is working on making an update to it. So hang tight while that becomes available. But there is an alternative way to find the rate sheet. So let me show you how to do that. Let's open up a Bing site again and go to Teams Audio Conferencing. And this should be it, Microsoft Teams Audio Conferencing. So it looks similar to the phones, but this is more on the audio conferencing side. And if we scroll down, the, the section here, see where see your rates for where you want to call. This is something that you can use actually for Teams phone pay as you go right now. Now, don't quote me 100% on this if the rates are going to change or not because ideally it should be on that phone site over here. But for now, you can use this as a ballpark and maybe it'll get adjusted when it ultimately ends up on this phone site. So it'll show up here in the future, okay? 
So for now, what we're going to do is just, I'm going to show you how to get your rate sheet from this audio conferencing site. Step one, select your country. So let's say your user is in the United States. So you got pay as you go in the US. You pick that country. You could pick any of the other 34 countries, right? The US uses the US dollar. And as far as the rate type, it would make sense that you're paying per minute and we're going to click on download the rate. When you download the rates, you get the spreadsheet. And if we look at the spreadsheet up along the top, it has dial in to toll US, dial in to toll free US and dial out calls US. This is the tab that I think we would be most interested in because we're dialing out and we're based in the US. So zooming in, you can see all these different countries, right? Albania, Algeria, Argentina. Let's pick Argentina, right? So if you're going to pick Argentina and it breaks it down into Buenos Aires or Cordoba, sometimes the rates aren't different. But so if we highlight these three, let's say, and let's scroll to the right. I think this one was a connection fee, which it's zero for pretty much everywhere. And so the rate from the US to Argentina is 3.7 cents a minute. And it even gives you this column is like area codes. It doesn't have all the area codes, but let's just say it's going to be 3.7 cents a minute from the US to Argentina. Now let's pick something else, right? Let's go down here. You can see so many different countries, obviously. And let's just pick Canada. So we'll highlight this one. And as we scroll to the right, the rate is two cents a minute and it has all these different area codes and prefixes. So you get the idea. Just use this spreadsheet, scroll down, and it'll tell you for all the different countries when you're dialing out from the US, what is it that you're gonna be paying for. So that about covers it, except there's one more important caveat I wanna let you know about. And this is mainly for multinational companies, companies that have offices in the US and all over the world. And that is that today, if your tenant is based in the U.S., you can't buy pay-as-you-go for the offices outside of the U.S. So if you have a U.S.-based tenant and you have offices in the U.K. and Canada and Italy and all over the world, you can't get pay-as-you-go for those countries. You can get it for the U.S. users, but not those other countries. I'm being told this is some kind of a tax or regulation issue that the product group is addressing but it's, uh, it's an issue that exists today. So for those users, you have to get them the other types of plans that we have. So your US users can get pay as you go, but other countries can get the 120 minute plan or domestic plan or international plan and so on. But just to be clear, if your tenant is based outside of the US, you can actually purchase pay as you go everywhere. We have a calling plan in all 35 countries. So if you have a UK based tenant, you can buy pay as you go in the US, in the UK, in Canada and so on. So the issue is where your tenant is located, and if it's a U.S.-based tenant, you can get it for your U.S.-based users, but you have to get another calling plan for users outside of the U.S. So I hope that makes sense. That is a caveat that exists today. We're looking to remove it in the, in, in the future, and I hope you found this session useful. Thanks so much. Drop me any questions you have in the comments, and good luck with your project.